parents. Allah made you and gave you parents for a purpose. If he wanted, he could have created you in a way that you were already independent. You did not need anyone, but you needed someone to look after you from a very early age. Baby, you can call me a superman. Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to our channel. It's your boy Jesse Keegan, and we are Fanny and Jesse. So, right about now, I'm gonna do another reaction video. And before I get to the reaction, guys, I want to thank everybody out there who've been able to subscribe to our channel, who've been able to push that notification button on so that you can be the first person to watch our videos. And also, you want to thank the people who've been giving us the reaction videos you're the real assembly thank you thank you so much before again and also another important thing guys we have a new channel which is called finding jesse 2.0 just go on the comments uh, just go on the comment section below make sure to hit that uh link down there and it will take you all the way to our uh, new channel and make sure to subscribe feel free to watch all our videos man uh interesting videos just let us know also if you have anything that you want us to do on the other channel just let us know in the comment section below and we will be really really glad to you know uh do those videos anyway guys thank you thank you thank you so much so right about now we're gonna do another reaction video so this one was suggested by a lot of people every time i keep on saying a lot of people but it's true like so many people have been telling us to react on this video right here and they say that we should go react to look after your parents by moved men i came to realize that a lot of people also love or like moved men He's a really good person. I mean, uh, he's really charismatic. He's really well articulated, and I feel like um, at this uh, this time and day and age, these are the people that we should try and listen to, uh, so that we can get the the message, the wisdom, and whatnot. So anyway, guys. So anyway, guys. Without any further ado, let's get it. TDR Network presents. Inspire 2015 Why is it that Allah has chosen for us to be fit at an age where perhaps we are peaking on around 30, 40 and after that there is a decline? Why is it that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala did not keep us upon a level of fitness, a level of perhaps looks where we are looking young and healthy? throughout our lives. Why does it have to be a graph that starts off in weakness and ends in weakness? As Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Allah alladhi khalaqakum min da'fin thumma ja'ala min ba'di da'fin quwa thumma ja'ala min ba'di quwatin da'fan wa shayba. It is Allah who has created you in weakness. When you were initially born, when you came to this world, you were very weak. You were young. You depended on other human beings. Allah made you and gave you parents for a purpose. If he wanted, he could have created you in a way that you were already independent. You did not need anyone, but you needed someone to look after you from a very early age. And when you are in your peak, he wants you to look after the very people who looked after you when you were a little baby. And once again, when you grow older, he says, we will, we grant people the peak and after the peak of strength, they become weak again and they develop gray hair. So when you are old, those whom you have now given birth to are asked to look after you, subhanAllah. And it continues up to the end. It's the plan. There surely is a master plan in that. And if we sit for a moment and ponder, we will realize that it's the continuity. That means it's a test. You will never ever perhaps agree with everything your parents do, even if they are non-Muslim. Even if they are involved in something unacceptable, it does not stop you from being kind or decent or good to them. Like Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, If your parents 
are asking you or struggling, working against you in a way that they want you to associate partners with Allah or to sin and transgress against Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, do not obey their command that happens to be against the command of Allah, but continue living in goodness and kindness with them in this world. Which means even if you have non-Muslim parents, you need to be kind to them. You need to speak with respect. You need to try and serve them in the sense that you might want to spend money on their clothing, on their food, on their accommodation. It's not wrong. Even if they're non-Muslim, what is wrong is when they tell you to do something against the instruction of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, that is where you draw the line. Donate now. Go to the day. Wow, wow, that's a powerful message right there by Mufti Menk. Anyway, um, such an amazing message anyway. I was thinking that uh, our parents are really important people in our lives. Even us are going to be parents one day. Your children are going to be parents one day. And as we live, just like what is said, like we are born to be weak. And as we get older, we also get weak. So, I mean, it's just like, it's a circle. You get it? I mean, it's something that when you sit down and think about it, You'll always need somebody to help you out when you're weak. So those people are going to help you out. Those are your kids that you you, you, you birthed or something like that. And when when when, when you have a a baby, you have to protect that baby because uh, he or she is so vulnerable at that particular moment. So you have to take care of of of, uh, of her all the way up until she becomes stronger. And then as you get older, she's going to take care of you back. I just hope that the people who are watching these videos are doing uh, are doing justice to you know protect their parents, doing justice to you know uh, if your parents is weak and you're in a situation where you can help them, go ahead and help them. If you have a baby, nurture that baby in a better way, so that also in future it's gonna uh, take care of you as you get older. I mean, it's a circle, man. Like it's it is something that. You cannot take it away. You cannot take it away. I mean, it's so, so amazing. Uh, such, such an amazing message right here, man. Most men really killed it on this one. And um, also, let's obey our parents. Let's uh, learn how to talk to them. How Let's respect them because they are the ones who actually helped us all the way. And for those people who actually lost their parents and they don't have their parents anymore, you know, God has a purpose for you, you know. Uh, that didn't happen just for the for the sake of happening. There was a major reason as to why that happened. But you just have to stay strong and strong, and good things are gonna come. Better, better futures are gonna come. Trust me. Anyway, thank you so much, guys, for uh, being in this video till this end. If you manage to get to this level towards the end, thank you so much, and make sure to hit that subscription button. And yeah, if you feel like you reacted to this video in a better way, just give me a thumbs up. And don't forget to go down in my comment section and tell me exactly what you feel about my reaction. And what do you feel about uh, this video right here about look after your parents, move to Mac. And the most important thing guys, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Then we keep on subscribing, then we give us the motivation to do a lot of videos and to give you a better, better content. And last but not the least, we're going to see you in the next video. And peace out.